Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on Let's Talk. You know how we do it right here. We bring you the latest and most trendy gist in town. Yeah, we bring all the old news back for you. So it's like a recap. You know that. You already know that. Over the weekend, there was terrorist attack in Sri Lanka. My heart really bleeds because this is going to be a happy moment for everyone. But there was a terrorist attack and it left over 157 people dead and about 400 people injured. This is so sad. This is not meant to be happening because this is meant to be a time where we are meant to be celebrating everybody is happy but there must be that one person that doesn't like that is sadist right there may god like actually pro protect us all because this is not it at all this is not it this is 2019 we are meant to be moving forward in the world not to be regressing back i really hope everyone is fine i send love prayers and support to the family and the, lo the loved ones of the people that died out there on a brighter note Easter in Nigeria was fun because we had different artists all over the world. They came into Nigeria to perform over the weekend. There was homecoming, there was loud, there were lots of events and yo, we had Jody Woods in Nigeria. Like she was really having fun. I saw her like several times. She was there really vibing. So Nigeria is not bad guys. It's actually not bad. You should actually come in more because there are lots of things we have here to show you. There are lots of places to go in nigeria and it's quite awesome nairamali came for simi and rugged man slammed into the wall as well nairamali said something about how he saw simi and simi was looking sad that he's a yahoo boy as well that doesn't make sense i saw simi as well at homecoming and baby girl was just chilling minding her business so why are you coming for her if she's not coming for you if you're not a yahoo boy and you're not feeling threatened you won't be coming for her unless you're actually one and you feel threatened that's when you'll be coming for her it doesn't make sense Say your own truth you feel okay or oh, she's just talking against your old boy when there are other things to talk about why don't you talk about all of those things like as well speak about them like it's opinionated freedom of speech in this country well not everywhere but still freedom of speech so you shouldn't come forward and i love the fact that rugged man also replied naira mali by by saying yo what is wrong is wrong not everybody i mean yeah he, he actually said it that he has friends that are yahoo people as well blah 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 but he's not going to ju judge them so why are you doing it Nairamali? i just feel this is quite silly for you to be showing that oh i'm not that smart you should be showing it out there on tv like yo i'm not that smart blah 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 no 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 no, no. keep your silliness to yourself you don't need the world to you don't need to show the world that at all you don't need to people on twitter are comparing beyonce and michael jackson so absurd we all know how people on Twitter are always chasing clouds. This particular one really pissed me off. I'm someone that doesn't really, that is always minding our business actually and doesn't really talk about topics like this. But I just had to because I feel this particular person has been, has been like disrespected enough. So imagine people comparing Beyonce and Michael Jackson together. Don't get me wrong, Beyonce is a great performer. She puts her time and energy into what she does because that's her work, that's her passion. So she's so passionate about that, she puts her, her whole life into it. But comparing her to Michael Jackson, even though he's dead, yo, yo, y'all need to chill. You need to take a chill pill. Step down a bit. Beyonce is a legend, fine. But Michael Jackson, if Engl English could promise me, is more of a legend. He's a legend that. So that whole comparison that, oh, Beyonce beats Michael Jackson father. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yo, the people talking about this, I feel okay, y'all just graduated from high school and stuff. Yeah, everybody, yay, Beyonce's fan, I say, be high, be high. But y'all really need to chill. Y'all need to chill. I'm a fan of Rihanna. I don't scream, oh, Rihanna is greater than Michael Jackson because I have sense and I know what I'm saying. Michael Jackson is a, is, is a badass and is forever a legend. So y'all need to chill, please. You need to put some respect on his name because Michael Jackson, no one, and I mean no one can actually ever beat his level. So we need to relax a bit. Divine Oduduro becomes the fastest runner in the world. I am someone that really loves it when Nigerians are doing so awesome, they are doing great. It's not bad news about how they defraud someone or how they kill someone or they are fighting leaving their country to fight in another country i'm actually so happy for this guy because i can remember back then when the particular video came out i'm happy because i never expected it even nigerians they were making fun of you like oh i never expected it it became a meme but look at what god just did for this guy like he put his heart into it and now he's the fastest brother in the world yo where's he's in boat i actually want to see the two of them running together 
but yo i actually like that would be a really really mad race and i actually can't wait to see that i'm so proud of him i love it when nigerians are there progressing they are winning Go Nigerians because that's the news I want to be talking about. That's the news I want to be reporting. Not any other news about fraud or some other things. I'm really proud of Divine. Really, really proud of him. And I really hope that he gets to where he wants to be in this life. Thank you so much guys for staying through with us on this episode on Let's Talk. Don't forget to follow our Instagram at The Scar Production, our Twitter at The Scar Pro, and our YouTube at The Scar Production. Oh, and I'm your girl Tonko. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Datico, on Twitter at Tyradomo underscore C. Oh yeah, today is the hashtag the scar production yeah the scar production and i'll follow you right back thank you very much guys see you next week